Right, how are you been guys? Um, today I'm just doing a very quick update on how all the Tesla coils go in. Um, just wanted to say um, a few things um, about some about some other other bits and bobs that, that have been going on. Um, as you can see, my toe filter has not really come on a great deal. Uh, I've got it all planned out. I'm waiting for two more resistors, so they'll be going there. These are 300 watts and they're 3.3k each. So they're all going to be wired in parallel to give me 1.1k at 900 watts each side. Um, I've got my MOVs, they're on a bit of a lid at the moment, but I've got a piece of perspex here that will be cut in um, and they will be mounted on there. Um, this is obviously um, the capacitors with. Uh, resistor to ground, so you've got a bit of a voltage divider there. Um, that's the, another part of the filter, and then you've got this part of the filter which has got a, I can't actually see it at the moment, it's got a resistor on there. Um, but that's not really, not really anything you guys haven't really seen before. I'm going to take it off a tripod. Um, oh, you're probably wondering why the hell I'm going for 900 watt resistors each side. It's because uh, there's my secondary, just in case you were wondering. It's because I'm going to be using four of those neon sign transformers. Um, and they kick out about 300 um, milliamps each at 8 kV. So it's not just your standard Terry filler. Um, I don't think I've really got any new sort of parts. Um, I think you've already seen the capacitor. Got that there for um, Steve Lane. Good chap. Got a good YouTube channel as well. He's now sorting out his shed. Uh, well, no, not shed. He's actually got a garage. No, not even a garage. It's a workshop. Bloody awesome one as well. I'm going to stick a link to the bottom of this video to his uh, his channel. And while I'm thinking of it, also, if you're going to see this, I've got, I've got a reflection. I've got Dirk 82's channel. Um, his name's Sebastian, um, he's into his high voltage and we'll be doing high voltage um, radio Tuesdays tonight, obviously as it's a Tuesday. So I'll put a link also to the bottom of this video to his channel, so maybe you lot can um, hop on over to his channel and have a look at it. Um, I won't tell you too much about it, but it's music and high voltage in one. So, yeah, there we go. Um, you're probably about to see there's my toy that I've been working on. Um, that one is complete. It looks a bit rough, um, but it's actually really smooth. I mean, it looks a bit rough because you can see all the reflections from the foil tape. But in actual fact, it's um, it's actually pretty good. Um, as you can see, I've got another one there, which has now been varnished. All that's been varnished, all of it's smooth, varnished, um, and ready for foil taping. Which, while high voltage radio Tuesdays is on, is what I shall probably be doing this evening. A bit of foil tamp, a bit of foil taping. Um, then the other thing I've got to show you guys that's really changed is, again, Steve Lane. He's um, been hassling me for a long time because didn't have a cover on here and he kept saying you know if you have a tool tools on your workbench it's just unsafe basically um, so I rectified that problem now the reason I didn't want anything on there was because I used to just tap off of it with a set of crocodile clips um, for easiness sakes when just testing something small out uh, obviously I wouldn't use that for running anything at high amps but sort of anything just to just a little test point basically is what I used to use it for so for safety I've now got a quick test um, a lot of you probably have seen these before if you haven't I will give you a quick demo all you do is you flip the lid up now when the lid is flipped up there is a fuse and a piece of copper the other side and basically you cannot get electrocuted even if the variac is turned on, you've got it turned up to 270 volts, you've got whatever you touch is, you know, you can touch all around here, nothing will light up, nothing will, nothing will zap you or anything, it's all safe. Um, 
and then you push these little clips you can clip a wire in so basically you don't have to use a plug which is why it's called a quick test and then when you close the lid up they slot into the holes with the fuse that goes down so now you're all safe you can't touch anything little neon comes on on there to say that it's working and it's on and yeah it's just like a quick quick connect thing um, so that that basically gives me the option of of using it for what I wanted to use the front for but having a safety option so yeah that's, that's quite a good little good little thing so yeah thanks for hassling me about that Steve because that was something that needed doing but um, yeah, it took me half an hour to do and you know it wasn't exactly a big long job or anything so uh, yeah anyway that's, that's my little update for you um, I should think the next time you'll see me is when I'm at Ants in just over a week's time. I think I should be at Ants on the 20th. Um, the latest will be the 21st. Um, and as I say, I'll be taking that big capacitor with me and linking that up. If I can get my Terry filter built, I might take some transformers, but I'm definitely going to be taking my uh, 10 kV potential transformer because Ants actually having that off of me. Um, if you know me you're going to already know Ant but I'm going to stick a link to his channel as well why not if we're doing links we will stick one to his channel as well um, but yeah well guys thanks for watching I shall stop rambling on um, please comment like subscribe whatever you know you know what to do and uh, I shall speak to you all again soon thanks for watching